So we're going to be looking at how you add a custom image to your Unify Protect setup. So you know when you get the little photo and you have the logo and it says Unify. We're going to make that have my own image. So as you can see here, I've got a camera, which has got the Unify logo in the bottom corner. Let me make that bigger. Why well, can't I type in a number, but anyway. Um, yeah, there you go. You can see the Unify logo. It's not very easy to see there. But we're going to be looking at how to make that my own. They've made it a bit harder. So I have some documentation that I've written that I'll leave up here, but we'll ex I'll explain it to you quickly. So I've got a script that I've written, but we I'll talk you through the steps. So we're going to SSH in, that's up here, SSH into the system, then run this command to download the image, then run this command to replace the image with the user image, and then run these commands to set it, run this command to validate the file system, and then run this command to reboot it. That's pretty much how it goes. But they have made it a bit more complicated now. Um, they've disabled SSH on any camera. So if I go here and I start a new shell session. So if I go SSH, UBNT at. And then I want to no connect to this camera. So that's the IP address of this. I SSH into that. It gets refused. But if you go into the MVR. So I'm already SSH into the MVR. And you go to this path. User share unify protect app config defaults and you command W for SSH, you'll see that this says enable SSH false. We just need to make sure that that says enable SSH true. And then we need to reboot unify protect using this command, system CTL restart unify protect. Now we let that restart. That will, of course, restart your cameras and all that sort of stuff. But it will enable SSH on all of the required devices. And I'll get back to you when that's done. Okay, so now that has been completed. So it's fully done that. So we've rebooted. And as you can see here, the camera is now online. If we now open up a um, another terminal session and SSH into the camera, given the command I said earlier, so SSH ubiquity, no, UBNT at 30.0.1.152, which is then the camera. That works. I say yes to the fingerprint and to the password. I'm in the camera. Now we're going to follow the steps. So I won't run the script. I'll just show you doing the steps. So you w get this URL. This URL is whatever URL you want the image to be from. So for me, this is my custom image. But you, if you, you will have a different image. It has to be served over HTTP, I've noticed. It seems to have an issue with HTTPS. So I download that. As you can see, it's saved that. I now VM that, so I change the name and move it. I then run this command. It then outputs some information about the config. I then run this command. It outputs some, some more information. I run this command to validate. Oh, it doesn't find that these days. That's fine. I kill all. Right, so I've done that. And there you go. It's now appeared. I'll make it bigger. You can now see that the logo is on the camera. Sometimes a reboot may be necessary, but not always. It's that simple. There you go. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have found this interesting, please like and subscribe because that will make a difference. And I'll be here in the next one. If you have any questions or problems with it, do leave it below and I'll hopefully get back to you.